Hi everyone, thanks for making the left turn for today, Sunday, October 21st, 2018. I'm George Farrar, welcome back to the Jack's Left Channel and welcome back to another episode of History Jacksonville. Here I am at Union and Washington Streets and directly in front of me, off camera, is Old City Cemetery. Old City Cemetery. Opened in 1852, they were already taking burials years before. So many places within the cemetery to go and reflect upon people who have died, who have passed away. Today, I'm going to bring you, in this episode of History Jacksonville, amidst the vibrancy of life here at Union and Washington Streets, I'm going to present to you a reflection upon people who have died and are buried in this cemetery. Notable people, an eclectic group of people you might say. They, Of course they say there's nothing certain in life but death and taxes. Well, I guess then it makes sense that this is Old City Cemetery. Like a lot of institutions in Jacksonville, especially very old institutions, this cemetery has a lot to say through the people that lived their lives and were buried here, but also amidst a somewhat modern controversy that traced its roots back to the Civil War. Of course, this cemetery opened before the American Civil War. The cemetery opened in 1852, was receiving burials earlier than that. The Civil War began in 1861. Fighting ended in 1865, at least. Military fighting ended. But in a lot of ways, the fighting has continued because buried within the cemetery, as one must expect, were buried a good number of veterans from the Confederate States of America, from the Confederate Army. And so, that is something to consider when we look at uh, the dynamics. And there are dynamics, because when you go inside the cemetery, you see some graves more tended to than others. And I'll have a lot to tell you about that, and I'll have a lot to bring you about what's going on, uh, what's happening even today amidst this bustling of life, we have the cemetery. And I think we, as stewards, citizens, but some of us then acting as stewards of the public trust, have an obligation to see that the best care is afforded the people within the cemetery, buried within the cemetery, for the families that might come here to reflect and to think, to have all of that set up to where, no matter where you came from in life, your life was recognized no matter what. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say it. Let's roll it. As we enter Old City Cemetery, we see various plaques that note its historic landmark status. Here we see a plaque awarded by the Jacksonville Historic Landmarks Commission, indicating that the cemetery was established in 1852. Here we see a plaque uh, related to the uh, wall uh, that was built by the Jacksonville chapter of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. 
Here we see another plaque about the cemetery just in front of the uh, cemetery sign and it indicates that the site was donated by Captain Charles Wiley and his wife. This marker placed September 28, 1949 by Jacksonville Chapters of the United Daughters of the Confederacy with cooperation of the Historical Society and other civic and patriotic organizations, the City Commission, and the City Council. City Commission, uh, that organization ended uh, once the city and county uh, consolidated in 1968. Entering on the Union Street side, I couldn't help but notice a new gravestone that indicates a John C. Buffington with the 10th Florida Infantry of the Confederate States of America, the Confederate States Army. Now, as we go through and we take a look at the cemetery, you'll see a lot of differences in the sense that you'll see a lot of aged, old, uh, gravestones and markers and gates and uh, all sorts of different things uh, some better maintained than others and it does cause your mind to wonder uh, what this place must have been like many years ago uh, here uh, you see recognition of yet another uh, Confederate veteran a major Russell so, uh, again, here we see more of an in-depth, uh, more of a uh, really nice, uh, preserved uh, gravesite. Within the cemetery, you can go from place to place and see a lot of different interesting spots. There's a lot of trees, a lot of shade, a lot of moss, and it was definitely a beautiful morning. Here we see uh, the gravestone for A.R. Merrill, a big time shipbuilder, shipyards. Here we see a picture of the 15th governor of the state of Florida, Francis P. Fleming. Uh, he's also buried in this cemetery. And uh, I did not have the chance to view um, his where he's buried. Uh, but uh, he's recognized in the cemetery. Uh, a, mixed, a mixed bag with him. He was in the Confederate Army uh, in the 1860s during the Civil War, but he was also um, a powerful force behind the institution of the Jim Crow laws. So we come back to... Uh, something that that we've talked about uh, earlier on uh, where we looked at this uh, dynamic within the cemetery of recognizing confederate veterans here uh, we see a plaque within the cemetery that recognizes the old confederate soldiers and sailors home that was on talleyrand avenue and uh and so uh we see around the plaque uh gravestones. So there are certainly organizations, uh, not just uh, uh, Civil War uh, oriented organizations, um, Confederate veterans organizations, but or other organizations as well. In uh, this mausoleum here, we have a, uh, uh, a recognition of the life of Laura Adderkor Coffey. Uh, she was from the nation of Ghana. Uh, she was a minister uh, and a political activist who was shot, assassinated while speaking in a church in Miami in 1928. Uh, she uh, would draw big crowds, uh, first in Detroit, Michigan, uh, later on uh, throughout the South. They had a big following here in Jacksonville and when uh, she died here at the cemetery there was a big huge crowd. People were charged uh, to view her body. Uh, so it was a big event. So uh, here we see 
what you might call the back gate of the cemetery and you see once again you're seeing a lot of the uh, parts of the cemetery that have not been quite attended to as one might like okay uh, you know and here's a point here's the point in this episode of history Jacksonville where I I point out and I I speak out uh, to say that the people of Jacksonville it is my hope will work to make things better in this cemetery uh, that uh, there'll be more of an effort to if anything account for what's going on uh, account for what's happening and uh, a certainly uh, there's a lot of room for improvement uh, for the cemetery for things to be better so I hope you've enjoyed this this opportunity that we had to take a good look at Old City Cemetery I will be back here eventually down the road somewhere down the road uh, in the History Jacksonville series I want to thank you for watching I want to thank you for your support I want to thank you for your viewer requests that are making uh, this season uh, such an interesting season and I have a lot to bring you ahead for the rest of 2018 going into 2019 and I want to thank you for watching take it easy see you later